Broker. I'm Debbie Indahar Giordano of Master Brokers. Welcome to our Thursday video update. This is May 24th. Um, let's look at what's going on in MLS. 27 pending sales, healthy uh, seller's market, and we've got some new listings that have come on this past week. 564 Redwood Avenue, four bedroom, three bath, 1745 square feet, and 6300 lot size for $1,149. Uh, then 1185 Burdett Way, three bedroom, two bath, 1,020 square feet, lot size 6,000 for 999. Uh, then 1852 Edsel Drive, three bedroom, two bath, um, 1,100 square feet, 6,300 square foot lot for 988. And 203 Tiny Street, three bedroom, two bath, 1,122 square feet, 6,000 square foot lot for 948.88. Okay, um, what's opened actually? Uh, Yellowstone Avenue will be open this weekend. It's not on the report. I just posted it today. We did not receive any offers on that property, so we're going into um, another cycle of marketing. So that'll be open Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of this weekend from 1 to 4. Um, offers were due today at noon. Um, and that property uh, is listed at $1,298,888. Um, the comps will show at about 1.4, so a little surprising, not any offers, but we'll go through another uh, weekend and let's see what we do with that property. We had 65 plus uh, families through the open house, so we had a, a good uh, activity last weekend, uh, which is um, indicative of um, a potential slowdown of the market. I mean, the market's been so red, red hot that maybe you know, just the steam is coming off just a little bit due to the stock market and some other um, interest rate rises, but we'll be watching the other listings that are coming on. So we've got uh, 309 Norwich in two weeks, uh, which is 1,988,88. Then 1117 Nicholas Avenue, uh, 2,300 square foot home for 1,298,88. And then Seacliff Drive, we just listed that. That's a beautiful home. 2,500 square feet. Hopefully that'll be ready in a couple weeks. And that's in Senate Elementary for 1488888. And then just listed a few days ago, 167 Lawton Drive. Um, that's well priced. Four bedroom, three bath, 1,900 square foot original homeowner. Um, two master suites, one master suite upstairs and one downstairs. So it's great for um, uh, expanded living. And that'll be at 988, so right below a million. And then 1845 Blue Spruce Court, um, get the keys next week and get that one ready. It's a patio home in the Pines that's fully detached and we're just getting ready to price that. Uh, we'll come out next week on that one. So uh, the duplex, 676, 678 North Abel, we're in, con we're in a counter offer situation as I speak. So we've had a couple offers on that property, it's 1398888. Um, hopefully that will go into contract um, and I can give you that price. If not. We'll continue to show that one and um, that's about it for now <laughs> we've been busy um, current interest rates 4.75 30 year fixed conforming 4.375 15 year fixed conforming 4.875 30 year fixed jumbo and 4.37 fix that's three seven percent for 15 year fixed jumbo okay San Jose Mercury news uh, pre-sale improvement on a serious tip so here are some few additional uh, pointers for sellers. Um, you need to ask uh, three real estate pros for guidance on what you need to do to get the home ready. That's uh, smart. Yeah, determine neighborhood norms for your area. You don't want to be over improved for the neighborhood. That's something that's throwing money away. Um, cancel projects that are too expensive. Um, the likelihood of you getting a return on your investment is probably very little. And then slow the renovation process to avoid costly mistakes. So get involved. Um, and you know know what you're doing certainly uh, have good contractors and make sure that everything is done um, well and uh, within budget okay grant a down payment so online tools point the way to available assistance for buyers it's going to be more uh, important as we go through the market research by the nonprofit urban institute finds hundreds of programs run by states localities and housing nonprofits around the country that provide from 2,000 to 30,000 grants to help eligible applicants with the down payment and I've got the website there uh, that you can log in and uh, check that out um, and thirdly there's more to home ownership than just the mortgage 
Uh, the thought of moving from renting to buying can be almost exhilarating. Beware to uh, added costs to the ownership. Some of those are property insurance. People fail to um, factor that in. Um, you have higher utility costs and maintenance certainly is higher than when you're renting. You don't have those costs. And homeowners association dues. Um, many, even single family homes, have got HOA dues and those have to be factored into the long-term planning of being able to afford that new home. All right, um, Melpitas Unified School District Board highlights. Uh, they honored uh, Volunteers of the Year uh, and trustees also honored the Melpitas Elementary Olympics, uh, both the volunteers and the supporters. It's amazing, this community of Melpitas on the people that come out and help and support the schools and make this a great, great community to raise children. And then the superintendent and the principal share the strategic plan goal at the Chamber of Commerce. And I, I imagine part of that is maybe that long-term vision to have a secondary high school um, and also what's needed for the um, added uh, student population and growing here in Milpitas. And then May 9th um, was recognized as Day of the Teacher. So um, recognizing those hardworking, wonderful teachers that provide such a great education for our students. And if you're interested in the City of Milpitas updates, visit www.ci.milpitas.ca.gov. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you need to reach me, I'm at DJ at AOL.com or the office is 408-945-8988. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.